This is going to be a video on configuring your SonicWall to allow Final Fantasy XIV to update and patch correctly. If you're running into issues updating or patching Final Fantasy XIV from behind the SonicWall, this is most likely the cause. Unlike uh, most downloads that you do from a, a website, for instance, where you're initiating the session, um, when you initiate the session, your firewall is no longer really that relevant because as long as you're allowed to initiate that session all the data can transfer through even if there's not a specific allow rule for that final fantasy 14's launcher on the other hand um, they usually their servers are the ones initiating the, the session now on a home grade router from spectrum time warner etc they allow most of that traffic through anyway sonic walls are not like those though they are closer to their you know a real firewall where it's not going to allow something unless you specifically allow it. So, um, from the SonicWall dashboard, now I like the old view. I'm running on TZ300, but yours might look something like this. There we go. Um, if you hit the little hamburger icon in the bottom left, you'll get the classic view, which I prefer. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to network and then services. And uh, go to service objects and you're gonna create these service objects right here. Now, how you're gonna do this is you're going to open up a new service object here and you can just name it, I mean, anything you want, but I went with XIV. TCP and then the first range which is 55296 through 55551. You're going to select the protocol of TCP and then you're going to put that same range in 55296 to 55551. Then you're going to click add. Then you're going to create your next port range they need which is 8080 on TCP. So 8080 to 8080. The last one is UDP, so I named it XIV UDP 552.96.255.551. And you're going to put those in, 552.96.255.551. Now I'll put all these ports in the description as well. Once you've created all three of those service objects, you're going to go down to Firewall, Access Rules, Make sure you're selected on WAN to LAN. Um, you might have a lot like I do, or you might just have a couple. Anyway, you want to go from WAN to LAN. Once you're here, you're going to create a new rule by clicking Add. Now, I've already have my rule, so I'm going to just show you what that looks like. And I call it the XIV Allow Rule. You want to make sure it is set to Allow from WAN to LAN source port will be any service will be xiv ports now what i did is i created a group for all of those so what you can do is hit create new group name it xiv ports and go find those three service objects you made all three of these you can add them to that and then hit okay now i've already done that so i'm going to hit cancel so the service is xiv ports source is any Destination is going to be your WAN IP, your WAN, main WAN interface IP. Users all, users excluded none. Now, this, if you're running in a business operation, you need to check with your actual, whoever is your head of IT there, because you don't want to go just adding about opening up a bunch of ports in a company. But if you just have a sonic wall at home, then this should more or less be it's safe. It's definitely no more dangerous than just having a regular spectrum modem, in which case these would be allowed anyway. And once you've created that firewall rule and you hit allow, you'll have no more issues with your, um, with your launcher, um, unless the issue is unrelated to this. Thank you very much.